Had I really said that? Jeremy Clarkson's apology to Harry and Meghan in full. Well, ladies and gentlemen, he only went and did it, didn't he? He apologised, despite the fact myself and every other political YouTuber that isn't woke has said for the last four or five years, never ever apologise to the woke because it's like blood in the water, it has no effect and it actually makes things much, much worse for you. So how do you think that chinless twat got on when he made a wholehearted apology to Snail Trail Sussex and her rusty bollocked autistic husband? How do you think it went down? <coughs> you silly, ruddy-faced, chinless twit. <laughs> As you can see, if I quite like the person, I torn it down from a twat to a twit. Jeremy Clarkson is a posh twit. I can't believe he was stupid enough to ignore the advice from basically everybody on planet Earth that isn't woke at this point. Everybody knows you don't apologise to these people. They're worms. They don't accept apologies. They latch onto them like a particularly aggressive Rottweiler. And then they shake them, and shake them, and shake them, until your plums fall off. It's his own fault. It is his own fault. And what's the final outcome? I'm sure you already know. Jeremy Clarkson pays the price for Meghan Markle rant as Amazon cancels the Grand Tour. Clarkson has a history of criticising Meghan Markle. Well, it, well, is he entitled to his opinion or not? Joe Brand said she was going to throw acid in Nigel Farage's face. Nothing happened to her threatening extreme violence against the man. There are dozens of examples of lefty arseholes picking on conservative commentators, claiming that physically assaulting them isn't assault, i.e. words are violence, silence is violence, but when a fat Geordie communist throws his milkshake in Farage's face, that's not violence. No, that's not assault. It's just bants, you know. Anyone who says that, by the way, is completely off the box. Just ask them this simple question. If they were on the way to the mother's funeral and a chav leapt out of a bush and threw a pint of milkshake in his dad's face and ruined his nice new suit, would he be a little bit angry about it and call the police and say my father's just been assaulted? Or would he go, yeah, it's only a bit of milkshake. It'll come out in the wash. Shut up, soy boy. You know what you'd do. And I know what you'd do. I mean, you wouldn't punch it because those sparrow bones of yours, you'd break your wrist, all your fingers would snap. You can't throw punches because you're a detestable whiny soy boy. But you would call the police and you would have him prosecuted for assault because it's assault. You can't make a good argument that silence is violence and insults are violence and words are violence, but then when you claim throwing acid in people's faces, calling for people to throw acid in people's faces, that's not a big deal, that's just a bit of bants. And physically throwing objects at people or in people's faces, that's that's fine. That's just that's just a bit of crack. You're disingenuous. Everything you say is disingenuous. Everything the walks say and do is detestable and everybody hates them and now you know why because of this it's one set of rules for the walk and it's a completely different set of rules for everybody else jeremy clarkson's an idiot but he's entitled to his opinion his show unlike all of the walk programming was actually wildly popular and jeff bezos can suck my festering left one if you've got an amazon prime subscription cancel it let them keep paying for sh pure shit like the rings of power and let them keep making the woke programming that everybody hates and let them keep cancelling programs that people like. In the end, there's only going to be one winner and it ain't going to be them. Bezos, cue ball. You can kiss my knackersack, son. How's that grab you? Thanks for watching. Cheers.